I hope the uh, cicadas aren't too loud, but this is kind of a difficult video to make. I don't know if you know me and if you've gotten to know me on camera. It seems like those things are louder. But if you know me or if you've gotten to know me on camera, I kind of form close bonds with my cars. And this is my last week, potentially, with Casper. I'm gonna go on my last, I would say, thrash with it. Uh, or my last tune, because I wanna show you guys how I drive this car and how I just drive a car spiritedly on a back road when it's my own car. So, yeah, this video is a little bit difficult to make, but I wanted to bring you on this last journey, and I wasn't sure. And I'm not sure if I'll make a final like farewell video, so I'll consider this the farewell. I did want to say, this has been probably my best car that I've owned myself. It's definitely been my most reliable. I've really not had to put much money into it besides tires, a battery, oil changes, cabin air filter, and that's really all I can think of. Like. It, she's been great to me. So without any more rambling or emotional dilly-dallying, let's go on a drive. I'm gonna set up the GoPro and this camera so you can see where I'm going and you can see me. Well, if you're watching the video by now, you'd probably know that my GoPro over here, my Hero 7 Black, decided to corrupt my footage. So no GoPro and what's even more annoying, which It'll probably be fine, but what's even more annoying is my Sony. This one, with my camera mount that I use, fell down. So my head was kind of out of the shot, and you're just looking at my legs and arms. If you don't know, the reason why I want to sell this car, or I'm planning to get rid of it, is because I want a Honda S2000, because I think I'm ready for a properly sporty car. I have my XC90 for my luxury and comfort and like going on trips and stuff and I have my truck for doing truck stuff. I think I need a sports car because you'll just see. Before we go, I do want to say I have my winter tires still on this car so it will not handle as well as one of these with summer tires or even all seasons but I still can thrash this car. Yeah, let's go. had no real issues with this car. The only thing that I have issues with every once in a while is that it doesn't want to connect Bluetooth easily. I have to shut the thing off and then turn it back on again. This is my... Here we go. So with the snow tires, the car... At first, wow, like it's a huge difference. With the snow tires, the car is a lot softer and it feels slower. Um, and then especially when you're on corners like this, you can feel how soft it is. You can feel the tires flexing. It is interesting. This is the first time in over six months that I've driven this car without a roof rack on it. And it's so quiet. I mean, you know, of course the exhaust and the snow tires, they make some noise, but it's so weird not uh, not having wind noise. I also took the intake off of it, so you won't be able to hear some of the uh, whoosh whoosh noises. So 
this road is really twisty. I might not be talking a lot, so you can enjoy the sights and sounds of this three liter, God. So that is one thing. This car, the suspension is tuned to be a little bit sportier, but there are some bumps that really upset the car and you can feel it. It's, it feels like the car is lifting off the ground. Um, so the car does get upset over some bumps. I always hate when you're trying to, this always happens, someone is in front of you. Look at this corner here, you can really, the snow tires like to make noise, that is one thing, but. without the snow tires. Jump. That's how you get a little bit of air. Even with the snow tire, like without the snow tire, you can feel the torque vectoring. So this car, you really have to be on the gas when you're in a corner. Bumps upset the car so much. What the howl of this engine. God, the brakes. Yeah, the car is really squirrely. I don't know if you can see it moving around, like just the body. But when you get on the gas, that's really... That's really when you see... Oh my god, I think the whole mount moved down. sounds really good. I really can't wait to hear how it sounds uh, while I'm editing it. The torque vectoring really does push the car around a turn, but even without the snow tires, the snow tires do make this very soft. But even without the snow tires on this car, it was still kind of soft and wiggly before. The thing is, it's still automatic, and you only have so much control with the automatic transmission. I also love how smooth this transmission ships. This has the updated version of the TF. 80 SC 6-speed automatic, it's an ASIN transmission. It's the same one in my XC90 V8, but the XC90, my XC90 in particular, it shifts a little bit slowly. I think it may need the update, and it also is due for uh, uh, transmission fluid replacement. So those two things will probably help it shift like this car but I really love how smooth this car puts its power down. It's unlike anything else I've driven. Just like. You can really get up to speed fast. Speaking of that box in the road, high speed maneuvers with the snow tires on are very sketchy. Uh, just because 
weight the weight the way how the weight shifts on the tires makes it feel a lot less stable at high speeds um, which is obvious and it's like 70 degrees outside I've been meaning to get new wheels and tires but now that since I want the s2000 I don't need to do that so So before I run the car out of gas, and I also run out of battery, I guess that this is a, I mean, this wasn't the type of video that I was exactly, exactly planning, but it's kind of sad, so I'm just going with how it goes. I'm glad that you were able to uh, come on this little drive with me and Casper for her last drive with me, at least last kind of thrash, I'd say. She will probably be gone, or at least pending sale, by the time that you see this video on Friday. Today is Tuesday. Hoping, you know, things go well with the sale. And then I'm hoping that I can find an S2000. And also hoping that I can save up enough money to get an S2000. Those are the two things. Finding one and getting the money for one. So, uh... Hoping that those YouTube checks, I'm hoping those YouTube checks start getting a little bit fatter. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos of me and my cars. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, peeps. I miss you. Don't run